Hello. This video is a little off topic for my channel, but it's something I just want to address. And it does kind of apply to something that I talked about in a previous video. I'm going to talk about blenders, simple old fashioned blenders. Now, if you don't get one of those like fancy blenders, like they have the Ninja blenders and all these other things that come with these special blades that stack up. If you just get yourself a traditional old cheap blender that's like 30 bucks, you know, it comes with a glass thing like this. A lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them, the threading on them fits a mason jar. So you can screw a mason jar right on there. Here's a big mason jar, here's a medium sized mason jar. Even these little mason jars go on there. No problem. These are great if you want to blend up butter. These are also great like if you do smoothies. You can take a bunch of these, put bananas and fruit and stuff in it, lock them up, put them in the freezer, and then in the morning you just take it out, pour a little milk in, slap this on, pop it in the blender, blend it up single use, rinse it out. Kind of like a magic bullet. Now I had a magic bullet, I even had an uh, imitation magic bullet, they even work better than the magic bullet. Uh, and the thing is my wife wanted something with a bigger top. And instead of buying a fancy blender, I like these because I make little shakes and I don't have to clean up this whole thing. I can just take a little one, put it in the dishwasher and be done. So I'm bringing this up because a lot of people don't seem to know that. And again, not all blenders do it. When I had to buy this blender the other day, um, I was looking online trying to find one and you can't always tell by pictures. They, they, like I said, if it's an old fashioned glass one, it's a good chance, but not guaranteed. So on Amazon, I'm searching through comments and looking for the word mason jar. And there were a whole bunch of blenders where people were asking, does this attach to mason jars? And people were replying with answers where they obviously don't know what the person's talking about. I've heard I saw answers like, why would you do that? That's dangerous. Don't do that. That's dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's no different than, than using this. It, it, the, the blade's not going to shoot off. As long as you put it on tight, just like this, the blade's not going to shoot off. It's not going to touch. You can see it's not going to touch. And it's hard glass. You know, if you do this and you get hurt, don't blame me. <laughs> I'll start with that. i start with that. I'm halfway through the video already. But I also saw uh, comments from people like answering, and I don't think they're trying to be jerked. I honestly just don't think they know what the person's asking. They, they, I saw a comment that said, yes, once you blend something up, you can pour it into a mason jar if you want. I don't understand why you would ask. And just comments like that where the people answering uh, are clearly have no clue what the person is asking. So you don't, don't answer questions you don't know the answer to. This goes back to the other day when I said, when someone asks a question online, don't answer unless you've tried that answer out. And if you haven't, say, I haven't tried this, but try this. I think it might be this. But so many people comment when they have no clue what the question is or don't know the answer. And it's misleading and stupid and annoying. Um, but, so just, just, just a little tip. If you have an old one of these, you know, standard blenders, see if a mason jar fits on there. You'll, you'll tell, it, it fits on there. It's not like, oh, this, this wiggly, it fits on there. It's a standard thread. It's meant to go on there. The blade you can see is not going to touch. There's nothing dangerous about this. Uh, but if, you're, if it doesn't go on, then, then you know it doesn't go on. I'm babbling now. Thank you for watching. Filmsbychris.com. I just thought I'd share the little tip and advice on answering questions. I get, I get asked lots of questions and I try to do my best to answer with stuff I know and not just answer like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I hope that you do the same. Have a great day.